Welcome back to the channel everyone. Today we're going to look at some Steam Deck plugins that I've been enjoying over the last few weeks. Some new ones in here. Uh, I keep checking the plugins regularly to see if there's anything cool and exciting out. And there's a few cool ones that I haven't shared before. Um, I've kind of got a little series going on the, on the channel where I go over some plugins on the Decky plugin manager thing. Um, everyone should know how to install that by now. If not, check out my previous video. I do seem to put it in every video, the tutorial of how to do it, but I feel like that's not really necessary now. It's been out for a long time. If you don't know how to install it, check out my last video on the Decky plugins and it's in there. But yeah, without further ado, let's have a look at some new plugins on the Steam Deck. We're back on the Steam Deck once again. Today, I'm gonna to show you some more plugins that I'm really enjoying at the minute. You know, some handy ones that really help things in the front end and just some cool little features. First one we're going to look at is a really cool little one called uh, Theme Music. And what this does is this activates, I'll try not to play too much of the song, but basically when you click on one of your games, it plays like the theme music for the song. I think that's really cool. So again, just show you another one. Turn it on, add it as the theme song. Persona. You already know what that one's going to be. Classic Persona theme song. Like I said, I don't want to play too many of these because I'll get copyright striked by one of them. But yeah, it's literally just adding theme songs to some of your games that you like playing. Some of them start quicker. I think there's a bit of a delay in some of them because of how the audio is ripped from YouTube. I think some of them have like one or two seconds of blank noise at the start. So you can pick one that starts pretty much instantly. But yeah, I just like it because it adds a bit more uh, flavor to your to your uh, front end experience and I also like it because it gets me in the mood for the game as well depending on what game it is but yeah I've been really enjoying using this front end little theme song kind of thing I don't know if Dead Space even has a theme song does it? I also love, just love how easy it is to just change as well so let's see you just really want let's see you just really want this one just click selected and it will start every time. So yeah, that's that's the first one. That one is the theme. Let me just have a look. That one is called Game Theme Music. And you can also choose how loud you want it to be. I normally set it quite low, just need it in the background. I don't want it too loud, maybe like 60. And yeah, that one's really cool. Let's move on to the next one. A big thank you to NordPass for sponsoring this video. NordPass Business is a password managing tool and platform that your business can use and your company can use to manage passwords, uh, fill in payment information and just help your team stay as secure as possible when filling in online details. I'll just list a few things that NordPass Business could offer to your business and then we'll have a couple of uh, examples of why it would be good to use NordPass Business in your company. So yeah, let's have a look. So just a few key points. Store and access your online accounts from anywhere. Make payments and purchases without any delay. So auto fill credit card information. Keeps your sensitive information secure and safe. Keep sensitive information safe with secure notes, which allows you to store uh, gate codes, passwords securely on a notepad within the application itself. Share passwords within your team to make collaboration as seamless as possible. You and your team can share passwords amongst yourselves using the service of NordPass Business. You can detect data breaches early with the built-in NordPass data breach detector. So you'll get a notification if your business is being infiltrated or being breached. And obviously for a business, security and online privacy is key. So thank you for NordPass Business for sponsoring this video. If you think your business could benefit from NordPass, have a look at my link in the description. If you think your business could benefit from being extra secure online, manage passwords, manage notes, work collaboratively amongst your team, then use my code in the description and in the comments, it's nordpass.com slash graves and then use the code graves and that'll get you three months free access and free trial on the services. So a big thanks to Nordpass Business for sponsoring today's video. And yeah, let's get back to some Steam Deck plugins. If you love achievements like me, then maybe MU Achievements might be a good plugin for you. Basically, if you run a lot of uh, retro gaming emulators and different older games, MU Achievements is a really good website where you can kind of unlock achievements and you can sign in on a website and it basically has all your games you've been playing. Um, that's in case you, you have to have signed in on RetroArch or the PlayStation 2 uh, emulator in the, in the settings. To do that, you just download the MU Achievements plugin and it basically will give you all of your games and you can check the achievement process and stuff. Basically what it'll do is it'll 
as you can see here it's just pulling all of my games i've got on my steam library scanning them all and then you'll be able to see the different achievements you have for them so if you're a fan of emulation achievements and just emulated games in general definitely pick this uh, plugin up because yeah it's just really nice to be able to keep a tab on all your achievements that you're going to be unlocking in the emulated games as you can see at the moment i'm just rebooting this on my device so it's just scanning through all of my games again so i'll paint a picture you're playing a game, you've got extremely low battery life like me and you don't want the game to quit. You'd rather the system shut down quickly before they get, the whole thing has to restart and uh, go into like lower power mode where your game physically turns itself off and you lose a lot of progress. So if this has happened to you, Auto Suspend is a really good little plugin that you can get. Basically what it does, it'll give you a warning notification at like 20% or whatever you want to set it at and then a critical level where the device will actually go into sleep mode itself. And then that basically is forcing you to go and put it on charge. And if it goes into sleep mode itself, obviously you can just turn it back on if you want to, but the point is it will auto suspend itself so as to not like, so as to not fully have to turn off and you lose progress in games. I think it's quite nice. I normally set this to like 5% because then that's like the critical level. If you've got 5%, you're not really gonna have a lot of game time anyway, so you might as well just put it on charge at that point. But yeah, a really quick one, but auto suspend is really cool if you ever are in them situations where you forget that you're on low battery power. And yeah, like I say, it automatically suspends your whole system without losing any progress in the game, obviously, because the system's just suspended, and then you can go put it on charge. So that's a really cool one as well. And a really creative one that I mentioned on my very first video, I'm pretty sure, but this is, Steam Grid DB. And what Steam Grid DB does is lets you customize your artworks and your gaming wallpaper. So it's very cool for the front end kind of thing. As you can see, I'm on God of War at the minute. The basic God of War artwork is there, but let's say I'm feeling quite a nice, you know, minimalist kind of wallpaper for the box art of God of War. All I have to do is download this plugin. If I go back and show you how to access it, this is God of War's page. Boom and then I can go change artwork. And then that'll let me change all the artwork to do with God of War. As you can see, it looks really nice in the front end because now you can customize all your box arts and it just really gives a nice personalized feel to your home screen. These are just basically just different names for your, your banner here. Uh, there's a lot of nice ones for God of War because it's a popular game. You've got your hero here and it just literally gives you customizability over all of diff the different looks and themes. So you can really get your uh, front end looking super, super nice. They've got some really nice themes here. Uh, same with the logo and the icon. And then at the end, you can actually manage the whole thing in a nice, quite tidy looking view here that can just show you all of the customized themes you've got set. But yeah, as I say, you can do this for all of them. And you can also do this for, if you go to collections, you can also do this, this for your emulated games as well. I don't have a lot of any emulated stuff on here because this isn't my emulated um, this isn't my emulation switch but just using advanced walls for example change artwork and it links to all of the different advanced walls wallpapers you can have same with the wide capsules because this is a game by advanced game there's not going to be as many as there is of god of war but there's some really cool options and the fact that you can customize all this saves you so much time when you're loading in all your emulators, you don't have to do all this manually. It just automatically searches it and you can just click it and it will apply it instantly. So another really cool plugin. Thanks for watching guys. If you want to see some more videos, check out my previous videos on the Steam Deck. I've done a lot of videos on the Steam Deck in the past. I'm going to keep looking at different plugins because they're just so cool to mess around with and just play with. To just see the different possibilities people are coming up with on how to use this device. It's just insane. Stay tuned, I'll be doing some more gaming videos soon on the Steam Deck. Thank you for NordPass for sponsoring this video once again, and I will speak to you guys in the next video.